Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Real Talk with SLR. Solo Mel edition today. The guys, they're off on an adventure. They're going out today, which is perfect because I actually need the house to myself today because I got a lot of stuff to do. They're going to spend their day down at the lake and I'm going to spend my day in the kitchen. Even got my apron on. I've already been so busy this morning. It ain't even funny. I'm going crazy. But I wanted to get out today and go and check on these guys before I get too busy. Um, I wanted to see how these baby rabbits were doing really quick. Gary has actually already went and fed everybody. So that's off of my plate. He did that first thing this morning. But he said that these guys are looking so cute and I wanted to come out and give it a look myself. Good morning, mamas. You like your treat toy? Hmm? You like that? Yeah, there you go. There you go. Hey, mamas. There you go. What do we got going on in here? Oh, look at them. They're getting some fluff now. Look at them. They're getting some fur. Hi, cuties. Oh, how adorable. Does that one look like she, they've got some brown to you or is that looking like their skin? I can't tell. Are you guys gonna be spotted? You almost look like you got some zebra stripes going on there. How pretty. Oh, how adorable. I think they might have some brown spots going on. Oh my goodness, so cute. There you guys go. What a good job, mamas. What a good job. You want some greens? You want some greens? Let's get her some greens, guys. Oh, Easter Bunny left an egg over here. There you go, mamas. You want that? Want your ball? There you go. There you go, mama. I see you, daddy-o. You want some greens too? You want some greens too, Shrek Buster? I'll hook you up, boy. Hold on one second. One second. There's lots of greens over here. Go Shrek Buster. Here's your ball. I see you, Bruno. Hold on.
those baby bunnies, like it almost looks like some of them are gonna be like zebra striped. Very cool that they're starting to get their fur. Um, that's gonna be a first. The last two times that we had rabbits down here, um, here in Arkansas at least, we've raised rabbits in Arizona, but the last two times that we've had rabbits out here in Arkansas, they didn't make it long enough to even get any fur. So we had no idea what they were gonna look like. But that's super cool. We'll end up seeing more uh, true colors here in the next uh, couple of weeks. Hi chickens. These baby chicks still look like they're doing all right. They could use a little bit of feed, but they do have plenty on the ground. What's going on guys? Good morning chickens. These guys are starting to get pretty big, man. Good morning, Pecker Palace. Good morning, Peckers. You guys want some fly larvae? You want a treat? I'm gonna hook these birds up really quick. Man, isn't this thing gonna be so awesome, guys? I finally put out that video yesterday for you guys, um, showing all the work and all the stuff getting done to it. I've got some Kind of unfortunate news. We didn't get our order yesterday. It never came. They probably got too busy or maybe it got delivered to them too late in the day and they weren't able to get it out to us. Um, so now I'm kind of wondering like, does that mean that it's gonna show up today while I'm in the middle of all the baking and getting the baby shower stuff together and the guys are out at the lake? <laughs> it's probably gonna be my luck. Mmm, yummy guys. Black soldier fly larvae. These chickens love this stuff. Look at them. They're all waiting. Yes, please. Yes, please. They have plenty of food. They have plenty of water, but I like to spoil them. Here, I gotta like do something. I need two hands. Hold on. There you go, guys. Okay, that's enough. Some of the mud is starting to dry up already. That's good. Still pretty muddy in some spots, but for the majority of it, it's drying up pretty good. We had so much rain this week. It, um, it was really like playing whack-a-mole getting stuff done. <clears throat> This weekend is gonna be pretty busy. I think we're probably gonna end up getting the order today, um, but we're not gonna be able to work on anything until I would say Monday. This weekend has just got too much stuff going on. And I think the first thing Gary wants to get back at is some of the decking and get our deck kind of finished being covered in. And then we'll go back to work on that guy we are kind of on a time limit because that does need to be finished before the end of this month um, because I think it's the first week of uh, May that our, our chickens are gonna be coming in. So we're gonna have to have that thing ready for them by then. Might be our weekend warrior project, I'm not sure. I think there might've been a little bit of confusion on um, the timing of 
the goats and the chickens and stuff. So let me just clarify, the chickens are gonna be coming and we're gonna have the chickens living in that first. And then when they're ready for freezer camp, then we're going to get the goats. So the goats and the Cornish chickens are never going to be living together at the same time. I think next year when we get like another hundred chickens, we might have a different area and that will just be the goat area. But we'll have to, you know, cross that road when it gets there. Hi, Goose. Hi, Nola. Hi, babies. Hi, Louie. Hi, Layla. Hi, Luna. So yeah. Well, I'm happy I went and checked on everybody. That was really cool to see the baby bunnies and the chickies doing so well. I have got to get back in here and get to work on a lot of stuff. I've already, like I said, I've already been very busy this morning getting to it. And now, since I am a very big fan of lists, so I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do is get me another cup of coffee and I gotta finish writing out my list of the things that still need to get done today. So. I'm gonna get me another cup of coffee, one second. So yeah, today's gonna be a really good day. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, having the house quiet, be able to be by myself and run around here and get all the things done because there's so many things still left to do. Um, I've still gotta bake the wedding cakes. I did a lot of the side treats and stuff yesterday and I got a lot of the baby shower like things together. I got the prize bags together. I got like a lot of those things together but I still have baby shower stuff I gotta do today and I still have to bake the wedding cakes. So I'm gonna be very busy today. I actually am gonna be getting with Roxanne here this afternoon because the bottom cake for like the tear cake is so big it's not gonna fit inside my little uh, oven that I got. So I can do all the rest of it and I'm gonna make it, but I think I'm actually gonna cook it over at Anthony and Roxanne's house. I already talked to her this morning and that seems like to be a good plan. I know Roxanne is super busy today too. She's doing like breads and like sauces and all kinds of stuff like that. So tomorrow is uh, the big day. Tomorrow is going to be a very, very big day. Um, Colin's family is coming in from like Arizona, Las Vegas area. A lot of their, um, I guess, childhood friends and stuff, like kids that I used to babysit back in the day, they're all grown up now. And um, they're all gonna be coming out and it's just gonna be a very, very, good day, be able to spend it with the family, enjoy baby shower, and then uh, have them get married. I know my mom has been super duper busy preparing everything. Um, and big shout out to Jamie with O'Rourke's Little Field. Thank you so much, sweetheart, for helping my mom out with a lot of that work. Um, yeah, they've been gal palling it up and they've been getting a lot of stuff ready for uh, the weekend. Jamie, she used to do like banquets and stuff like that. And um, I know I seen it firsthand. We went over to her Christmas party this last year and man, the smorgasbords and just everything, the way that it was set out was so pretty. It's so nice. Um, definitely has a good eye for it. And then of course my mom, right? Been working very, very hard to set everything up. So um, we're all really excited and looking forward to this weekend. We're all super duper, uh, happy to be pitching in and um, it's wonderful that we've had so many helping hands come together for Brittany and Colin. Um, it's just, it's, it's beautiful. It's love, right? It's love and the family's growing and 
Yeah, really, really big moment in life for them. And uh, for, I guess, the whole family too, right? You know, it's growing and I don't know. I get all sappy with love. <laughs> love is so beautiful. <laughs> oh man. Well, I gotta sit down and I gotta get this list together. And so far on my list, I know I still need to get the big board together for the stinky diaper game. Um, yeah, I was talking to you guys about it on our live yesterday. We did a random live uh, instead of posting a video here on Real Talk. This week's just kind of been all over the place. Life has kind of been a little bit all over the place. Thank you guys for sticking with us. We're trying to bring you along as much as we can. Um, but yeah, so I got this, I have to still make the board for the stinky diaper game, which won't be hard. I essentially have to like melt chocolate bars and put them in the diapers and then like pin it to this di this board and like number the diapers. And then everybody gets like a paper and they have to guess what candy is in what diaper based off, you know, and then whoever gets all of them wins or um, whoever gets the most of them wins, that kind of a thing. So I got to make the board and I also have to get on the computer at some point and make those little printouts. But I might save that for like tonight's stuff because I got so much to do here. And I think as far as the baby shower stuff, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get all of the batters together. I'll do like all of my cooking stuff, get everything prepped, like all my batters. And then when things are in the oven and I'm just in that in-between waiting for the oven to be free, then I'll work on the baby shower stuff and like finish all of that. I'm going to bring the cakes after they're cooked over to my mom's house and do the assembly of them at my mom's house. So that way I'm not driving in the car down a bumpy road, you know, with this three tiered wedding cake. I could just see that being an absolute disaster. <laughs> so I think uh, the smartest plan would be to decorate it over there. We will see. I got some piping bags. Oh, and they have a really cute uh, cake topper my mom brought over. Isn't that cute? I like it. And then I got some beads and things to go around um, the cake. My mom got these, she brought them over. But they're just different beads and like lace stuff you could decorate the cake with to have it go around. Her colors for the wedding is of course black and white and then like this smoky blue color, which is really pretty, but it's gonna be a little bit difficult to mix the color for frosting, but I'm gonna do the very best that I can. I got a special like coloring kit so that way I can mix the frosting colors for like the piping and stuff. And um, we'll see how it works out. I've never made this type of a color before. And I'm doing it for a wedding day. No pressure, no pressure. <laughs> but I'm sure I will figure it out. I am absolutely positive I'll figure it out. And luckily, uh, Brittany's not like Bridezilla or anything. She's very chill and um, she's just happy to, to be doing it and to be celebrating with the family. So same with Colin. Colin's just like, eh. Whatever's nice. I'm like, thanks guys. But me, I always put so much pressure on myself, right? Like that type of personality that I have. I just, yeah, I can't help it. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> so anyhow, friends, I have got to get busy in this kitchen. The day is going to go by before I even realize it. And uh, then Gary and the guys are going to be coming home. And then I won't have this quiet house to myself anymore. So I want to I wanna turn on some TV or some music and I want to get in the zone, start working in here and get it going. Um, I'm not planning on recording any of this madhouse because it's just too much. However, I will more than likely show you guys stuff when it's all done because I know you guys want to see it. Um, and then, um, you know, bring you guys along that way. So that's probably what I'm planning on doing. Can you guys tell that uh, my brain's going 5,000 miles an hour? Hey. 
So yeah, guys, I better get busy in here and get to work because the day is going to go by faster than I know it. And I want to enjoy the quiet time here uh, before the kids come home and it becomes a madhouse in a totally different way. So I'm going to enjoy my own circus over here. I hope that you guys are enjoying yours wherever you guys are. Uh, peace, love, happiness, all the good stuff. We love you guys. I want to thank you so much for being with us. Um, I did post a video yesterday on Simple Life Reclaimed. If for whatever chance you guys missed it, make sure to go back and check it and watch it. Um, I should have some more content coming out on Simple Life Reclaimed probably Sunday at the earliest, I would think, just because of busyness. And it might have to do the slow trickle where you guys are going to play catch up next week and I just have a ton of videos for you all next week. I'm not sure. Life is a circus right now. <laughs> um, thank you guys for hanging out here on Real Talk with SLR. Um, we'll be back with another episode soon. Until then, friends, love y'all. Hope you have a good one. Catch you on the next one. Later, later.